Hi, I'm Michael Odie, a SolarWinds contributor and president of Tekka Inc. And this is a first look at SQL Operations Studio. So what are we going to talk about here? We're going to first go dive into what SQL Operations Studio is. Then we're going to look at some of the details about how you use SQL Server Operations Studio, how you connect to SQL Server instances, how you perform some basic database management with it, um, how you do T-SQL and query development, and then we're going to look at one of its interesting features, the integrated terminal. So what exactly is SQL Server Operations Studio? Well, ever since Microsoft released SQL Server on Linux, a lot of DBAs has, have wondered, is Microsoft going to come out with um, a version of SQL Server Management Studio on Linux? And so far, the answer to that has been no. But what Microsoft actually did was they came out with this cross-platform SQL Operations Studio uh, product, which is currently in preview. This is based on the lightweight Visual Studio code base, which is a, a lightweight but very powerful and extensible editor, and it runs natively on multiple platforms like Windows, the Mac, and Linux. This can connect to SQL Server on Windows, as well as SQL Server on Linux, Azure SQL Database, and Azure SQL Data Warehouse. The tool looks exactly the same running on all of the different platforms, whether it's running on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And here you can see a list of supported platforms that SQL Operations Studio will run on. It will run natively on Windows 10, 8, 7, Windows Server 2016, back to Windows Server 2008, as well as uh, the Mac OS 10.13 and 12.10.12, .12, Red Hat Linux, SUSE Linux, and Ubuntu. So you can see it does have very good cross-platform support. When you go to use this tool, you basically install it. Each of the different uh, operating systems that it's supported on has an installer that is uh, native to that operating system. So once it's installed, as soon as you bring it up, you get a connection screen very much like you see here. Uh, if you've ever used Visual Studio Code, you can tell that sometimes that's not the most intuitive tool to connect to SQL Server. Here with SQL Operations Studio, it's quite easy. Right on the initial login screen, you have what is basically a standard uh, SQL Server login prompt where you talk about what connection you're using, the server name you're connecting to, whether you're using SQL or Windows authentication, the user and authentication that you're using to connect into the database, and optionally a server group. You can group your different servers into color-coded groups with this tool, which is a kind of a handy feature. Once you're connected, you get this dashboard that you see here. The dashboard gives you a server's pane that allows you to perform navigation through the different databases and the different database objects. You also get what is called a, an insight or a quick little taskbar that you can use to perform common tasks like restore databases, configure them, write new queries, as well as search databases. One of the, I guess I'd say, the primary strength of this tool is in T-SQL queries. It's very strong about that. Its management capabilities are not on par with SQL Server Management Studio, but it does have management for the most common tasks like backup, restore, navigating databases, and so on. When you get to the query editor, you can see that it is a, a very powerful query editor. It supports color-coded syntax, IntelliSense, code completion. You can have pop-up definitions like you see here. If you hover over one of the, the different columns, it'll give you a definition of the columns. You have a, the ability to go to the definitions of those columns if you want to. When you run the query, you can click this Run button up here or press F5 like you've been used to with... Um, SQL Server Management Studio. You can also disconnect, change connections, or if you hit this explain button over here, uh, you will get a graphical representation of the query plan at the bottom of the window, which is uh, a pretty nice feature. One of the other interesting features here is the integrated terminal. From the integrated terminal, uh, you can hit this by going to the View Integrated Terminal option. It'll bring up a, basically a command window that's right within your tool itself. This means you don't have to go external to um, uh, execute commands on whatever system you're running on. That can be pretty handy. You can use it to execute Bash if you're running on a Linux system or PowerShell. PowerShell on Windows, Command Shell, you can also use this to run SQL Command, BCP, and SSH. Very handy window to have. I found this window to be pretty handy for working with uh, Docker and Docker commands with SQL Server containers. Anyway, now we've had a quick overview. Let's have a look at what this is like. 
And here's our initial connection with SQL Operations Studio. You can see when we come up, we have this nice convenient connection dialog, which we can fill out with what is basically the standard SQL Server connection type of information. Click our connect button, and at this point, we'll go ahead and connect into the system. And now we've got a connection into our SQL Server system. And you can see in our servers pane over here, we have navigation where we can navigate through the different databases that are over here. We can also look at the security objects like link servers, logins, server roles, as well as server objects like endpoints and link servers. So if we want to dig into a table, we can certainly go into um, any one of these SQL Server. Let's just look at Oh, we'll go down to the Editorial DB database, maybe, and expand the tables in there. Get articles, tables. We can also go into, say, Northwind. We'll open that up. There's some of its tables. We have maybe a customer's table. Let's go ahead and run a query for this. We'll select the top thousand here. And this will open up our new query pane. Here's the query. You can see it's using IntelliSense here. It's automatically executed it, but if we wanted to run it, we again, we could hit that if it was a query we were writing. If we want to look at the definitions, we can hover over here and we get a definition of each of the data types that we've got going on. That's handy. If we want to look at uh, query plans, we can hit this and you can see we've got a graphical query plan coming up here. One of the other handy features is that it has that integrated terminal window. So if we want to open up a, a terminal window, we can hit that. And here's our terminal window. Since we're running on Windows here, we've got PowerShell. And we could just enter basically whatever commands we want to look at here. So if we want to do a DIR, there is a command. We've executed it. We didn't have to leave uh, SQL Operations Manager at all. We can close up our terminal window by hitting the the trash can and if we look at around here we can see we can restore databases we can configure new widgets we can execute queries or we can search through the databases that are here and that's the end of our first look at SQL Operations Studio thanks for watching